Wait, wait, did, did you hear something? No. Did you hear something? I thought I, I, I thought I did. What, what was that? Eric? Eric. What are you doing here? Watching the cars go by. What else would I be doing? You know, you mean you've been here this whole time we've been doing this journey? Well, we're in. Yeah. And it was free. Alright, so well, first things like. first, we're going over here. Ooh, I this is the Mohawk Ramp. <laughs> okay. Oh shit, oh shit. Alright, we're going to have to get out for this portion. <gasps> oh shit! The echo is insane. Three, three, two, one, go. George? George? Mitty? <laughs> All aboard! I did see this ramp on the news before for uh, having cars been broken into. Yeah. I mean, yeah. We don't rob cars. <laughs> do, 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 do. I robbed several cars in my day. It's interesting I that have? this is the street level on this side. Oh, is it that interesting? Well, well, there's actually two street levels. I know, there's like a lower street level on the other side of the ramp, and this is a, a, like a whole level up. That was also the same way with the uh, with the Adam ramp that we were in just a couple ramps before this. Yeah. We entered and exited on uh, both the lower portion. So the Mohawk ramp is only four levels. It's got that classic center up and down ramp design that you would expect of just really any parking ramp whatsoever. Um, a lot of newer ramps nowadays, they just kind of take on maybe a even simpler design of you have one side of the ramp is dedicated to the actual ramp itself, and then you just have a flat layout, and then you've got like those, those kind of beams in the middle, just like straight pillars that divide the, uh, the flat from the ramp itself. Um, it opens up nice and wide out here, so you really get a clean view of the city as well. Nice. Off to the right. Totally, dude. Like Zoinks. Like Zoinks, dude. Like Buck Velma, man. <laughs> that sounded so realistic. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's just become one of those more seconds. You were pretty good at it, actually. So. You know, Jake doing is Scooby. So yeah, that's the uh, that's the Mohawk ramp for you. Um, named after Mohawk Street, which is off to our left. Hey. Also, or not Mohawk Street, Mohawk Place. Actually, nope, no, no it, it is, is Mohawk Street. Street All right, Mohawk Place That's the bar, is the it? is the bar where uh, my band The Impurity yes. follow us on Instagram and Shameless YouTube plug. and Facebook uh, plays. We've played probably the most amount of shows at Mohawk Place. So we there's so much love for that bar. So and in right uh, August, did I see you had a show coming up at Stamps? Yeah, Stamps out in uh, North Tonawanda. So make sure you get on face. Make that? sure you get on Facebook and you check that out, folks. I know I'll be there. TZ Eats of Rena Rerand. Famous TZ. You can meet. You want a live meet and greet with TZ Eats. And Rena Rerand. And Rena Rerand. Rerand. You can do whatever you want with them. Maybe even LQ. We'll find out. And uh, of course the K Man. No, no, and uh, you want a live meet and greet with the band and just show up at that show. Well, we are not going in. And another rejection here. Well, at least you're good on my side. What about the one across? For access to facility, please use access card or press intercom. Proceed with caution, one car at a time. Let's just uh, let's drive up to the door and see if it opens. What? Otherwise, you're gonna have to. Automatic otherwise, you're gonna have to press the intercom. No, I'm not pressing the intercom. All right, that didn't work. Bagging up. Bagging up. Don't hit anybody on the sidewalk. Um, I will Nick, give, your eyes. I will give you. Good. I will give you stock footage of this ramp as well. All right, all right, folks, you heard it.
We got rejected here, but he's got footage. This man has footage. So what you're uh, looking at now is 40 to 50 Fountain Plaza. And actually, let's uh, let's take a pause a moment just to, uh, to listen into what I said. So, well, where do you go? Uh, is this public parking? Yes. How long we stay? Huh? How long we stay? Uh, about an hour. Yeah. Park any spot except a reserve, okay? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Welcome. Park. Almost the first floor is full, second one is All enough right. spot to live better if you want. Thank you. And we're back. So uh, this ramp, it kind of goes back and forth between um, public parking and monthly customers. Um, there's actually an online website in uh, the city of Buffalo, I believe it's all pro, that you can uh, actually reserve parking uh, inside this ramp as well as several others throughout the city. Uh, the spiel with this one is that it's actually kind of a rather complex structure underneath the 40 to 50 Fountain Plaza uh, business building. Um, this, it's just a pretty wide layout. Uh, you see I'm turning a lot of corners around here. There's pl really plenty of spaces underneath here for only being uh, two levels deep. Um, turn around another corner right here and uh, we'll head back for more parking. Um, I remember when I uh, when I came to this this little underground structure I just, uh, I, 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 I did eventually park at some point. I used the ramp for its intended purpose, uh, contrary to popular belief. And uh, I went and I got breakfast at the nearby Spot Coffee. Got an omelet. It was really good. I, oh, you can see right there, actually, there was uh, some split-level concrete. Um, parts of the ramp actually do kind of fluctuate between that split level. It's like a slight little descent and sometimes slight little ascent. Uh, just tiny little ramps within the uh, the whole sub-ramp itself. Uh, you'll see now we're descending down to the second layer of undergroundness, uh, what you might call a sub-basement in, uh, in some parts of the world. And uh, this is really just me looking for a parking spot at this point, but also still trying to explore the ramp. And you'll see a little mini ramp right there kind of bringing you back up to the uh, to the main driving area. And then we just kind of drive around a little bit more, around a corner. I'm slowing down for absolutely no good reason. Yeah, now we're moving again. And yeah, just looking for a parking space, killing time, getting video. This is what it's like to be a parking ramp enthusiast. I bet you guys wish you could be me. No, you don't. No, you don't. Well, maybe one of you wants to be me. I don't know. Parking ramps are cool, okay? Don't judge me. Gosh. Mom. And, uh, yeah, I think this is where we uh, cut it off. You can see a couple little uh, panoramas right here of, uh, of the inside of the ramp. Um, just some just some really intricate features, I gotta say. It's, uh, it's very well uh, designed in terms of the architecture of the ramp. Um, you can tell it took a lot of planning to, uh, to get it where it needed to be and fit such a honestly strange concave design. But nevertheless, uh, whoever the architect was did a phenomenal job at designing this one. And uh, I think it's one of the, uh, the hidden gems of the underground parking world in the realm of Buffalo, New York, as we start to head back up to the surface and exit this ramp. Of course we're going in, We Nick. gotta go in. No ramp. We can't right go from in. that rejection, minus right into this one. Go in. <laughs> minus all the ramps that we couldn't go in. We are in. Yeah! The, now, Zeno, the, is this the one I was talking about? Yes. Now, this is the one with the cool layout that I was talking, thinking of. This is also one of my favorite ramps in Buffalo. Yeah, this one's pretty cool. I actually like this one. First, we will do a tour of the ground, very ground floor. I will right, we'll get the camera nice. stationary in its very position nice. where I can view nice and steady. The ball dropped nice and steady. Make 
sure you check out our video, sure. folks, of Welcome to My Basement music video. Good shit. Coming up the back side now. That video is pretty popular already. It's got 72 views, so you know it's a good one. <laughs> Zeta, what was that you Nothing. said? I didn't say shit. That's right. That's what I fucking thought you said. He said subscribe to the Maximum Goose channel. Because remember, folks, we have fun here. Yeah, we do. <laughs> Is that going to be our new motto? We have fun here. <laughs> Remember kids, if you work with a uh, Maximum Goose, he will not feed you and he will get you in the worst climates known to God. Actually, I fed, every time we went on a journey, before I brought us to, out to lunch, Kaz is the one that made the schedule, so you can blame... Oh, Stella, what, what happened to the Niagara Falls? You can blame the K-Man here. What happened, what happened, what happened to the Niagara Falls? We haven't gotten to the Niagara Falls. Well, that no, wasn't... That no, wasn't no, we're talking about Peter. See, I don't consider that a journey, though. That was only a few hours. Uh, a few hours was Plus, you had just eaten dinner right before oh, you came out cool. with us, by the way. I don't remember that. Remember, you made us wait for you to pick you up? because you had been to been eat. this ramp before, Nick? Nope. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, that, that damn straight, oh, that's yeah. right. Shut the fuck yeah, up. This one's sick. It's got, like, the, the two levels and... Oh, oh shit, man. It, it is... That, yeah, that's a post. You're gonna hit that. Uh, or just that's, bar that's just barely scraped by, then. Jeez. I know what I'm doing. You couldn't have been any closer to that thing. Ken's a very hardcore driver. I like these fences. They're kind of cool. Very modern. Wow. Modern fences here. Shopping. See, See, this is look actually at this uh, layout. private this is U.S. Wild. government uh, parking over here, as you can tell from all of the license the plates. This is crazy, this Maybe. layout here. Look at this. these tiers. Well, because technically this is two ramps combined into one, but I only count it as one ramp. Yeah, because it's all because connected. Because you, you need to use the first ramp in order to get up to the uh, higher levels, which you, you can see right here. Yeah, you can see how it kind of like goes around and you have to come out here to go to the higher areas. That's crazy. It's cool. That's definitely yeah. one of the better architecturally designed ramps in the entire city, honestly. The last time I was here was the last week that school was physically in session. Because I had to uh, come down and visit a building in the Fountain Plaza for class. Was that like March 13th or something? Yeah. Right around there. Yeah, just about. I think it was like I think it was March 11th we came. I came down here. And now this is the one where Robert, you and I ate Burger King. Um, yes, we parked at the top of the, the top ramp and listened to After Funk. Oh, classic, oh, 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 oh. classic night. Good memories. We gotta, we gotta see our buddy Rob at oh, some so point soon. I have, uh, I have only <laughs> ever made good memories in this ramp. I was gonna I will, say, I will say that. last time I talked to Rob, he said he forgot who you were, so we gotta fix that. It's not, I told him we gotta fix that soon. Nick, fun fact for you, I, uh, my dad parked us in this ramp when I came to see Porcupine Tree, the only time they came through Buffalo oh, in 2010, okay. May 4th. You think they're ever gonna come back? Um, yeah, if they ever get back together. Porcupine Tree broke up. Duh. I did not know this. It's only Steven Wilson now. He's just been hey. working on his solo projects forever. Viewer, for, ah. for the viewers, this is common knowledge. I don't know. All right. It wasn't this, common knowledge this, today. This is a mandatory ramp to get out at. So. All right. Oh, yeah, for sure. We're getting out. So this ramp is nine stories tall. Um, with the combination of the two ramps together, you have the uh, the double helix structure in the beginning. Well, we'll, uh, we'll come down here and we'll take a look. Yeah, this one's... Uh, a nice expansion joint. So you come off to the edge here. See the two ramps that we were just coming up here. Yeah, the double helix structure right in the middle. You have the two ramps as the uh, as the one half in between, and you have the flat portions out to either side. Very wide. And then now up here, you have uh, kind of a double lane. Uh, on a couple of these ramps, I believe parking is allowed on just the side here. But yeah, the, the ramp structure really thins out here, but otherwise, this is probably the best view in the city from a parking ramp. Yes, why don't you keep going? <laughs> This is literally right in dead in the center of the city. This is why we do it, folks. The other view that you're going to want to get is over at the side there where Zito's standing. All right, well, lake. we'll be back with you as soon as we catch up to Z. Looking down looks like you're about to fall, which is what I'm going to do 
because this video is taking forever. Great views here. If you come over this way, you got a better view of the lake. Oh yeah, keep going. Keep going all the way over here. So it's like I have a knack for probably finding the most interesting parking ramps in literally any city that I go to. Like I can just I could drive around the layout of a city like say Cleveland for example. Yeah. I'll just drive around for a little bit and just from looking at the outside of a ramp, I'll just like I use my x-ray vision. Literally to just see inside and I just I know the perfect ramps to go into. And that was literally like it's literally been the story of like any city that I've ever visited for the, either the first time or the third time. Like when I uh, when I went to Cleveland with my singer last year in March, we were just driving around, I was just looking for a ramp to go on top of. Number one, it has to be tall. Right. So I try and find the tallest ramp that I can find possibly in the city to get the best uh, panoramic view. Number two though, I'm also looking for interesting architecture inside. So this ramp that I drove up into, it had like a kind of a double helix ramp structure, but it also had a spiral exit to come down as well. Mm. It was like a whole mishmash of of like many different architectural styles in order just to get up and down the ramp. That's pretty cool. It, it was insane. Cool. And uh, if you were to stand on the other side of the building, you could actually see Alright yeah, viewers, you well, Actually, you can't hang out in the rain for, for you viewers, we just got uh, asked to leave by this asshole security guard, I don't know, literally not even doing anything, just standing there looking at the views, but we're going to be those type of people and just like, we, on the phone, drive to his face and be like, what did you do, huh? What, what are we doing here? I know, like, uh, yeah, you don't right? even, you don't yeah, even have, yeah, he, I know my amendments and my rights. I know, he doesn't even have a uniform or anything, just a polo shirt, but let's get out of here. You don't know me, sir. Uh, I don't know about that. Alright, we're going in. Can you go in Are you allowed to go in now? Yeah, probably. Yeah, probably. You can probably, yeah, you can probably make your stuff and then come back out. We dropped this ticket. Ah, you don't need it. Stop on the ramp. We are stopped on an incline. Woo! And continue. Horsepower, baby. Are we actually like parking? 285 yes. horsepower. Park yes, we have to park, Nick. That's oh sacrilegious. my god. We are not just viewing it, we are actually parking because we're going to get lunch. It's been a long day of parking ramps and we need to eat. We're growing boys. We're growing we, boys. Zito's been, uh, Zito's been out since 8 a.m. Peter and Nick have been out since about 8 30, 8 40. And I have been up since 7 a.m. And we are growing Crack horizontally and turning on all these lights. I like that. I bet some guy's gonna come up to us and be like, you guys can't park here. <laughs> I'm a fucking douchebag. All right, viewers. We had to stop for lunch here at the, uh, we actually used a parking ramp for its intended purpose to uh, park. So, uh, Seats was getting pretty hangry there. He's got a burrito. Yeah, so was I. LQ, burrito. Great. This this man went to Ted's. What'd you Great get? Place. Wiener. Foot long, wiener. And I myself got a bowl. And uh, we are enjoying our lunch. So we'll be back. In a parking ramp. With more parking ramps because I know you all love parking ramps as much as we do. I don't. <laughs> and we'll be right back with several more after this. Shit! And we're back after a lunch break that uh, relieved this man of his hangriness. And not only that, man. We are going to resume. Okay, man, tell us about this ramp. <clears throat> so this ramp being part of the uh, the Delaware Delaware North complex, you have some uh, private parking over there on the one side of the ramp. Um, again, you have a slight double helix structure, but the center ramp is a lot more steep than the one on the side. Uh, we are just about to crest to the top now. Daylight. That's right, Nick, it is still daytime. I know, I'm going blind in here from these all these light changes. 
I'm just right It's so dark, and then up, you just up, up top wham here. right into the light. Up top here is actually a very decent uh, view of the city going that way. Uh, over there, you can see some more parking ramps and stuff. And, uh, yeah, you can see some thing the lake out there. Yeah. Yes. I don't know if you can see it's got, that. Right, it's got yeah. a nice view yeah. up here. Yeah. See that? Just in the corner. This is a nice building right next to it. And in we go. So just to update the viewers today, over the course of 29 parking ramps and structures, we have only spent $10 on them so far. And that is a new personal best for me. That, that's a good deal because we because got a lot of free ones. The last time I did a ramp journey with nine ramps in one day was my record. That's a, a simultaneous record for most ramps visited in one day and most new organic ramps that I have added to the list of uh, ramps that I've ever visited in my entire life. Um, that day, I think I spent about 40 bucks on parking ramps, Ouch. which is not necessarily advisable. Ouch. But um, the fact that we've only oh, managed yeah. to spend $10 so far, plus whatever Delaware is about to charge us. And we only got yelled at by one security guard. A okay. So here we go. One security guard that was. Let's find out if they charge us here. Will we be charged? Find out next week on Maximum Goose. All aboard! <laughs>